All right, in this video, we're going to actually use uh, an advanced research computing cluster in order to uh, continue working on the Innovus uh, automatic place and route that we were working on the other day. Uh, to do so, uh, I need to uh, open up the uh, open up a bash shell uh, using slurm. And the way to do that is to type uh, s run the name of our project. Uh, we want to do x11 forwarding, so we need minus minus x11. We set a time, the number of nodes, the number of CPUs per task, memory, uh, and so on, and then we uh, run the command slash bin slash bash. Uh, when we do that, it's going to push our job to the queue. That'll take just a moment. All right, you can see that we've been allocated uh, resources in the queue. I'm now going to source our startup files. And this will put Innovus on the path. And now I'm going to start up Innovus in the stylus mode. All right, with that, I'm going to pause the video right here and I'm going to get us back to the point that we were at before. Uh, nothing really changes when we're doing this on the ARC uh, Advanced Research Computing Cluster. The only thing that changes is that it should be faster uh, since we have more resources than we do on the local machine we were running on. All right, so here we can see the design. Uh, it's past the uh, post CTS optimization and it's ready for routing. Uh, and so we're going to begin that process uh, shortly. Uh, we can look at the routing script here. Uh, you can see uh, basically the routing script is going to uh, just set up some parameters about fixing uh, various uh, DRC related elements, uh, uh, adding some filler cells, uh, and, uh, and setting the top and bottom routing layers. Uh, in this case, I'm setting the bottom layer to one and the top layer to six, uh, for instance. Uh, and then it's going to do the uh, nano route uh, and write everything to the database. All right, so let's go ahead and begin that process. All right, and we'll come back in just a few moments uh, when that's done and we'll do the post route optimization. All right, you can see that the uh, routing is now done and we're ready to do a post route optimization. Again, this is script driven. So we're just gonna do uh, some additional timing analysis and optimization of the design. You can see all the commands that I'm going to run uh, right here. Uh, and then it's gonna write this out to a database and let's go ahead and get that started. All right, so the post route optimization is done. At this point, we can run checks, for instance, LVS and DRC using the check menu in Innovus. I tend to find this a bit clunky, uh, but uh, uh, they do work. Uh, what we're going to do instead is we're going to export our design using save netlist. We're going to save the netlist. I like to append the word struct and underscore in to let us know that this is a structural design from Innovus. And we're also going to save the artwork. We're going to do that as a GDS. Here we're going to give ourselves an output name. So something like the name of our filter underscore struct underscore in to let us know that this was a uh, structural design uh, finished in Innovus. When we do the output file, we need to provide a map file name. This lets it know what layers to export. So normally this is a technology map that's provided by your vendor uh, for whatever technology you're using. And with that done, we can click OK. 
And now we have a GDS and a netlist file that we can import into Cadence Virtuoso uh, for further checking uh, and evaluation. Uh, we'll do that in the next video. Uh, before we do that, we actually need to fix a few things in the netlist. And I'll show you that actually in the next video. And then we'll follow that with the import into Cadence.